Hello everyone, this is Claire Waller and we have got some top tips to share with our whole school community on really thriving through our continuation of learning programme because it takes a village to raise a child and we all really do have the same goal in mind which is providing the most effective learning for your child and for children to learn well they must feel happy and safe and, and to not have anxiety. So we encourage everyone to really look after themselves and stay healthy. That's the learners and the parents and the, the teachers. Now you can really help your child by making sure you've found a quiet workspace free from all distractions. Make sure that iPads are fully charged, which the children can be responsible for, so they are ready to learn. Now, a, a tip that was shared with me, which I think is a really good one, is as we go into the new MCO and the new program of learning, to have a family meeting and really talk about feelings and really talk about how you can thrive through this this period of time so what what does everyone need to help them and and, and what doesn't help them so you could maybe have a special uh, lunch that that the children choose every friday something to look forward to but also talk about expectations so that the children can really understand them so you want the children to be talking about okay i'm i will get up early i'll be up an hour before online learning i'll be ready i'll have my breakfast i'll brush my teeth and also for the parents as well for, for you to be able to share with your children what would really help you so that they understand your challenges that you maybe have to work and you, you have to do certain things during the day. So as much as you might want to be there for them the whole time, you just can't. And that's okay because there'll be certain times that you can be there for them and that we can all only do our best and that we're, we're really, really proud of all of the children for, for trying and, and doing their best. Okay, so for the learners, have the cameras on, mics off, treat the, the school routine just as they would if they were in school. So they wouldn't come into a lesson halfway through eating, for example. We understand for our younger learners who are less independent, that they, they may need their parents who might be busy. But on the whole, we want the children to be there on time, listening to the instructions and ready to learn. Of course, if there is an issue and your child is overwhelmed, they're finding it all a bit too much and you'd rather maybe opt out of a lesson or two, please do inform the teacher straight away. Otherwise, the teachers will chase it up because we, we want to have high expectations of all of the, the learners. But if there is an individual problem, just let the teacher know and we will support you with that. Please do speak to the teachers. It, it, remember, we have the drop-in sessions. They're there for parents as well if you, if you want to ask for some help or advice from the teacher. Okay, so I think my main message is let's work together. If you have any suggestions, ideas, questions, please do get in touch with the teacher directly or anything for whole school. Please don't hesitate to contact me. Good luck.